Hi, I'm Saad Siddiqui for the St. Andrews College Independent Online. For years, we Canadians have been described as the polite, affable, hockey-loving folk who live up north in the frigid cold. But we're seldom recognized for our contributions to the world stage. With marvels like insulin, the telephone, and even zippers, Canadian literature is often left in the shadows. However, today we reilluminate our past. There are only a few pieces out there which depict the Canadian scene as well as Mr. Rock Carey as the hockey sweater. The story of Mr. Carrier's own life while growing up in a small Quebec village in the early 1940s. Carrier, like all boys at the time, was a die-hard Montreal Canadiens fan. When he finally outgrows his hockey jersey, his mother orders him a new one. However, disaster ensues when instead of receiving a Habs jersey, he receives a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Mr. Carrier, without a doubt, has made significant contributions to our nation and consequently was awarded the Order of Canada in 1991. Mr. Carrier, was visiting St. Andrews this past Monday, and I had a chance to catch up with him and hear his thoughts on Canadian literature. People have often described your novel, The Hockey Sweater, as, um, as a summary of Canadian culture as a whole. And if that's the case, do you think you've done an effective job of portraying Canada to the rest of the world? <laughs> I, I don't know. I never tried to portray Canada to, to anybody. I'm just a storyteller, and uh, I'm interested by the experience that people have, and uh, everybody has personal experience, and everybody has limited experience about something, but that's what life is made of. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a storyteller. I have no system. I'm not trying to save the planet or save the world. I'm not trying to uh, promote a country, a province, or whatever. If I have to do it as a job, I would take a contract, and yes, I would promote. <laughs> but as a writer, I'm just a free guy. I'm telling stories, sometimes telling lies, and it's part of being a writer. Uh, I'm not one of those writers who save the world. I don't think the world needs me to be saved. <laughs> But at the same time, I have something to do, and I think what I could do the best was to try to tell funny stories. Um, so, we, we've all heard of, we've all read it, like you saw the audience today. Um, your novel is a very simple story. It's, about, it's a very simple story about being it, a boy. It is so simple. It is it's so, so simple. simple. Why, why do you think it's regarded as one of the best pieces of Canadian literature? Do you think it's because of that? Because of its simplicity? or? You know, I could spend the rest of my life asking questions about mm -hmm. how did it happen that that story <laughs> became popular. It's a gift that I receive. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like, very often, I would like people to talk to me about some of the books that I wrote. Mm -hmm. I would like people to talk to me about the Lament of Charlie Longsong or something else. But people talk to me about that little story. Mm -hmm. And it's a gift. It's an immense gift, immense privilege. Because there is no recipe to write that type of story. Uh, there is no... You cannot plan that. Mm -hmm. You cannot... Oh, I will write a story about a hockey sweater. Mm -hmm. Because people like hockey and they, <laughs> the story will be read by everybody who likes hockey. You didn't, you didn't it, does, it, does, it doesn't it work you. like that. It just try to tell, in that case, a true love story that happened to a little boy in his little limited world, mm -hmm. dreaming of being uh, in a bigger world that he knew at the time. Mm -hmm. And hockey was the vehicle to be bigger than it was. I wanted to be Superman. It doesn't, it didn't work. I wanted to be Brick Bradford. It didn't work. But hockey player, yes, I could play hockey on the ice. So I was bigger than I was. I was training bigger than I was. So I wrote, I wrote about that. All right, so we're going to continue our talks with Mr. Rock here. You're right after this. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes <laughs> they say lo sometimes love is difficult. 
Uh, yes, it's difficult, but, but next year, next year.